It's happening, the battle is starting and this time I'm not losing. This video is me trying to learn a piece that is considered one of the most difficult pieces for guitar ever written. Eugene's Trick Bag. As a kid I was already dreaming about this clip, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing and hearing. I tried it many times before, for the first time when I was around 14 I guess I failed. And the last time was, should I say it? Well, I made this exact same video before, but I'm sad to say I never finished it. And that is something I never achieved, until hopefully somewhere next week. And now, more than one and a half years later, I am doing it. So I started to work on the arpeggios in the beginning, uh, the finger twisting arpeggios, insanely fast, rushing up and down the fretboard. Beautiful, but very, very tricky to properly execute. A minor. <laughs> And that's not the most difficult one. But the next one, E7. That one always catches me up, I don't know. A7. Not that hard, but now it's the most difficult one and I'm always struggling with that. Uh. No. Either it's sliding or it's string skipping. And then a B diminished. minor run up ending on an E chord. But now there's this Paganini part, this shred of the neck. But not the easiest fingering and that's the thing, I mean most shreds are pretty, well I shouldn't say easy, but the fingerings are pretty logical, but this part is just... So how am I practicing this? Always start out very slowly so my fingering is on point and I know exactly where my fingers need to be at what point. Sometimes I break it down into smaller portions. And then I'm building it up. For now I'm just playing the arpeggios over and over so I don't have to think about the shapes anymore. Not really focusing on speed but making sure I've got the shapes in my fingers and in my head. For shredding you're just guessing a little bit like you play four notes with the right and four with the left and then you hope it aligns and if you're a good shredder it aligns but like that. That's exactly what it is but it's not the same when I play. That's a different technique for me. So next week is going to be sweaty, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm doing it. Day 3. Uh, I've been especially focusing on the Paganini part. Uh, camera pressure. There are a few very tricky parts in this part, especially the string skipping parts. The That's the most difficult part from G. Uh, it's so difficult to get it fluently and I want to have it fluently. Okay, so after this, there is this insane jumping up and down the neck pattern. It's crazy, just look at it. Oh. Oh. It looks more difficult than it is to be honest. This is definitely not the hardest part of the song. What is very hard is that he's playing fret 22 and I only have 21. So we have to figure something out for that. But after this is the awesome diminished lick down. Then an A harmonic minor run up, pretty straightforward, but very fast as well. Yeah, so that's the thing. 
I'm continuing. So when practicing, there's multiple schools of thought. Play as slow as possible to make your movements as clean as possible. But the second is, you should push yourself and really go beyond your own limits and that's the only way to become faster. I'm doing both basically. So I did the slow approach, so I know my fingerings, I know the approach, I know where my finger needs to be at what point. But now I really need to push. I'm really playing faster than I should and than I could. But I feel like it's getting there, so I think it's working. I'm 17 days in and I haven't played it since. I just, there's too much going on to put my dedication to it. I'm finishing my new intermediate course and it takes way more time than I anticipated. Still renovating the house and studio. Have a look. Yeah, it's going to be epic. Let me show you. The new studio. But Paul, that's not a reason not to practice, right? No, it is no excuse. And I'm here to show you that you can make time, you can practice, even if you're busy, because it's fun, it clears the mind, you leave out all the distractions, the day to day, you turn off your phone or just put it away and putting it away. So I'm not quitting, here's the pick, here's the guitar, here's the camera. Uh. I need the pressure, it's happening. So where I used to play the individual parts as separate things, right now I'm really combining them all together into one big piece. I don't know if I will make it, but there's only one way to find out. That's practice. So. There isn't really a bigger idea behind how I practice at this point. I'm just repeating and repeating in order to make less mistakes, gain speed and build up to that one take that has it all. Ah. I'm comparing my playing with the original speed. That's pretty close. So the last few days I was not feeling okay about my hands. And right now I'm just feeling like light weighted, my hands go wherever I want it, my hands are, are glued to the neck again. And I'm feeling more confident that I'm going to nail this challenge than ever. So again, just practice, practice, practice. So I guess it's time we had to talk. Sometimes things don't go as planned, but that's not a problem. You just gotta roll with it. I mean, it's always ups and downs. And I feel like it's time for an up. The last few days I picked up the challenge again, mostly like 30 minutes before I went to bed, just picking it up and playing it through a little bit, the speed, the technique, the fluency. I just want it to be like the original as much as possible. So that's where the goal is. <laughs> In the beginning of this challenge I really needed to warm up a lot, like 15-30 minutes before I got up to speed. But right now I'm just, I can sit down and just pretty much play it. We're almost there. Almost. So a little update, I wanted to record the video today. It didn't happen. Usually I would just say, okay, it's okay for now. I mean, spend another five hours getting like that final 2%. Is it even worth it? I don't know. You could probably spend it more wisely, but... I just want to finish this video. <laughs> That's it, see you tomorrow. 
this challenge is finishing today. I feel like doing it in the other room because it's more of a performance then, so I feel like I completed the challenge more. So, let's go. Let's do it. After 52,000 days of practice. <laughs> Yes, there we are, it is done and I'm super happy and please click that like button to show some support. It's also good for your own karma and your own practice sessions, I promise you. Um, so there were a few points in making this video where I thought like, I'm not doing it. I'm giving up again for the second time, not finishing this video, but I'm super glad I did continue. And it, it was more sort of in the background thing. I finished like six more YouTube videos during this video, made my course, renovating the studio, uh, so, you know, some things just take a little while to get finished. It's weird to make a video in 51 days, but yeah. This is Paul, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video inspires you to undertake your own practice sessions. And sometimes it's just bigger than you think. In the end, it's all worth it, I'm sure. Cheers!